The state government has been accused of a multi-million dollar stuff-up during a level crossing removal in Melbourne's west. It's causing extra delays for commuters, but the Premier is adamant the project is on track. Deer Park was promised longer nine-car trains to help with increasing passenger loads. But when the station was upgraded, the platform was 10 metres too short. Now the Premier says that was all part of the plan and it will be extended during the Melton Line upgrade. This is a good example of how we have a sequence of investments and how each investment builds on the one before it. But not everyone is buying her story. Nine carriage trains need a 225 metre platform. That's what they built at Sunshine. Three years later, they rebuilt Deer Park at 215 metres. Why? It shouldn't be too much to ask that government departments coordinate these projects properly. The Premier is being accused of favouring the suburban rail loop, a project she denies is putting Victoria at risk of a record low credit rating. We are seeing more business investment come here to Victoria than any other state. There are going to be massive blowouts on the suburban rail loop and when it's going to cost, as far as we know, at least $216 billion. An extension isn't a weekend job. It'll involve months of planning, relocation of cables, signals, CCTV and of course millions of taxpayer dollars. The government says it won't be finished until 2028. Until then, the longer trains will simply pass through. Bethany Oman, 7 News. A Brisbane teenager.